We're absolutely delighted to have him. Please welcome back again in 2011, Brendan McNamara. Most video games still don't use actors because there's a belief that at some point through simulation, video games will make a better performance than a real person can give. It's kind of like Mary Shelley, you know, kind of Frankenstein approach to characters. There's a, the other argument is from an economics point of view that games companies can own their virtual character and therefore not have to deal with actors, agents, and the rest of the baggage that you have to deal with with Hollywood. Um, time will tell whether kind of my approach or other people's approach is, is the best one. I personally believe that it's easy to work with real people because you can discuss with them what you want and the turnaround time and asking for variations is very quick. So this is Doug Turk, who's one of the engineers who developed Motion Scan in Sydney. Um, I'll let you have a look. This is one of the first ever captures we did with two pairs of cameras. Hello, this is the depth analysis capture system. Can you read my lips? <laughs> Hello, this is the depth analysis capture system. Can you read my lips? So that was, that was using four cameras, and it was, as you saw, the data was quite a mess. And Doug's acting, well, you know, enough said, but what it does do is it captures the spark of life. You know, when you look at it, I think it's, you can tell straight away that it's clearly a real person. And I think that's one of the most compelling things about the moving image. It captures life. Unlike a painting or a still image which captures moments in time, the moving Im image preserves the spark of life. Whether it's your home movies or me watching Humphrey Bogart in Casablanca, the moving image makes me believe that the people in the movie are alive. And I think motion capture, motion scan actually captures that too, as opposed to the stuff that we were doing previously. We're not talking about simulation anymore, it's clearly a person. I don't have to sp suspend my disbelief and say, you know, is that real, is that, is that really a character? It just is. Um, I know it's Doug. I, you know, now I, all I have to worry about is making it less of a mess and whether the person can act. So four cam cameras clearly wasn't enough, so the top, we had to experiment with some more. So we continued to test, and here's an early one with eight cameras and a real actor. This guy's name is Nathan Lovejoy. Great name. And a really good up and coming Aussie actor. Um, he's also six foot eight, so he's a rather large lad. And he's reading the part of Ira Hogaboom from LA Noir for anyone who's actually played the game. Mm -hmm. Take a quick look. The fires are only just beginning, Doctor. After the fires, everything will be beautiful and clean, everything will be erased. The world will be fresh and new. I can see my purpose now, Doctor. And you help me find it. So Nathan's actually in costume, and we, so we didn't know what the parameters were at the start. We just put an actor in clothes, and we'd stick him in front of the cameras. You know, we didn't know what we could capture and what we couldn't. And you know, the data is rough, but you can obviously see the possibilities. And um, it's pretty obvious that Nathan was reading in that clip, so he was looking down at his script and then looking up at it. But what you can get from it is that the, the performance is incredibly natural. It's no longer an animator interpreting what the actor's performance is. It's got, you know, I've got nothing against animators. I, mean, I work with lots of them. But you can see, you know, we can see way right back then that we were onto something where people would kind of look believable, um, and we could stick them into the game and make them look, you know, truly believable. So eight cameras are good but it still wouldn't give us complete coverage at like the back of his head. So we're getting close to having a workable system. So here's the final rig that we initially built in our offices in Sydney. Uh, we've gone from two pairs of 2K cameras capturing at 30 frames per second to four pairs and eventually arrived at 16 pairs as the magic number to give you full coverage. We, had, we threw out all of our old cymbal stands and microphone stands and all the other kind of jerry rig stuff that we were using the uh, mount cameras to and we, we kind of built this rig. I love depth analysis. <laughs> <laughs> so the rig was now working. We needed to get some data into the game so that we can convince ourselves and Rockstar that all of this kind of you know, fancy new tech would work. Um, so what we did was we cast some Aussie actors to play all of the key parts, and we put together a whole case using these actors.